Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today's beer comes from Spindle Tap Brewing. Guys, this, this is the Houston Hazier. A couple of weeks ago, I did the uh, Houston Haze. This one is their double IPA. This was uh, sent to me by Brandon C. down in Texas because I can't get these beers from Spindle Tap here. So Brandon, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, and I'll tell you right off the bat, guys, Beer Advocate has got their head up their butt on this one. Uh, they're calling it a uh, American IPA, not a double IPA, coming in at 6.20%. Well, it doesn't have the ABV on the can, which kind of chaps my ass a little bit. I wish they did. But these breweries need to put the ABV on the freaking cans and bottles. How in the hell are you supposed to know, especially if they brewed it before and the ABV changes? I understand they want to reuse these labels year after year because it's a process to get them approved, but we got to know what we're buying and drinking, guys. So uh, maybe that would help Beer Advocate. Uh, they've only had one person comment on this beer, uh, but they've got it at a 6.2% and a, a standard IPA, a single IPA, and it is not. So basically, Beer Advocate, you're out of the ballgame on this one. Out of here. Hit the locker room. Hit the shower, boys. Uh, it'll be between me and Untapped. Untapped does have it listed as, at a 9%. We're going to have to take them for the word because I, I, I don't know because it's not written on the can. It does have a date on the bottom of it. Uh, and it says here, juice is loser. 316 of 18. So and today is the 25th. So pretty damn fresh. Pretty fresh. So, uh, I don't have a commercial description here on Untapped for this beer, so I guess we are done talking and ready to start pouring. So, let me pop the top on this bad boy and get it into the glass. And I really enjoyed the single IPA, the haze version. This is hazier. So, I'm expecting sort of a juice bomb here, guys. Uh, you know, how hazy can it be without being a juice bomb? All right. Oh, yeah. Looks like orange juice coming out, guys. While I'm pouring this, if I could get this laptop to cooperate. Cuisine is barbecues, cheeses, are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, meat, game, grilled meat, and salmon, and glass bar snifter, tulip barber sized wine glass, and, and of course, beer advocate, being the zipper heads that they are, say you can sell this beer because it's bigger than 8%. Don't do it. That's the whole reason they put a freaking date on the bottom of it, so you can drink it fresh. So drink it fresh. Don't make me slap you. That looks just like orange juice in the glass, guys. It looks exactly like orange juice in the glass. I would consider this a New England style double IPA, a juice bomb, if you will. Awesome. Awesome color. Awesome. 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 Let's get it to the nose. Oh, yeah. The hop aroma is off the chain, guys. I'm getting some dank pine, grapefruit, pineapple, citrusy, orange, mango, maybe some peaches, maybe a hint of some melon in there. It's got it going on, guys. Outstanding aroma. Wow. And being basically, what, a week old? I mean, that's about as fresh as you can get it uh, for Brandon to buy it there package it up and then s transportation to get it to me in Virginia and and then to review this for you guys. I just got this package 
Today's Sunday. I got it Friday. So I've had it two days. Smells awesome. Looks like orange juice, guys. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. Uh, I do appreciate it, sir. I'm a sucker for these juice bombs. That is delicious. Lovely. Everything that I'm smelling, I'm tasting. It does have a substantial back end bitterness to it, but it's a 9% double IPA. If I was guessing, I would think the IBUs are 70 plus, maybe even 100. But it takes a lot of bittering hops when you're producing a 9% Imperial IPA. Very nice pine and dankness to this beer. Wow. Well, I was going to do the back end pour. I'm going, I don't see how I could possibly change the appearance. I'll swirl it around a little bit just in case. I don't think it could look any more like orange juice, guys. I mean, that that is the picture of... A juice bomb it looks like orange juice some of them are a little thinner a little watery or a little darker color that is that looks just like orange juice in the glass it is identical looking so well I'm gonna sip on this let her taste it she likes these juice bombs too and uh, see what we end up pretty impressive beer right now all right guys I'm back got just a little bit left here uh, very tasty beer awesome beer as a matter of fact I can't think of a single thing that I would say to change this. When you look up uh, New England style double IPA, it ought to have a picture of this beer. I mean, it is awesome. Uh, I would buy this beer religiously, guys, if I could get it here. Uh, be willing to spend five, six, seven dollars a can if I could get it here. It's that tasty. Uh, I don't know what Brandon paid for this, or I'm pretty sure it would probably produce in, 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 a, in a four pack instead of a six pack, being a 16 ounce can and being a nine percenter on top of that. Uh, very tasty beer, guys. It is an awesome beer. We're going to do the final chug here. Still looks like orange juice. Awesome color, awesome aroma, awesome taste. absolutely delicious awesome if I said that did I say it was awesome I think I did about 10 times already it is it is very very tasty it's a 10 for me guys this is absolutely delicious uh, I don't know what else to say other than if you can get your hands on it and you're into the New England style IPAs or juice bombs as I call them uh, I don't know how far they distribute it out of Texas but if you can get your hands on it, you see this, pick it up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I am not. 10 for me, 100. And like I told you before, Beer Advocate doesn't even have this in the right category, right ABV or anything. I don't know what's going on with that. But they're out of the picture. They're in the locker room taking a shower. Yeah, that's where they need to be. All right. Uh, Untapped has this at 4.46. Pretty damn impressive numbers from those. Almost the best numbers I've seen. Definitely uh, an A beer. And like I said, uh, in their, their upper uh, A range too. So, 100. Definitely an A plus beer. Awesome example of a New England style. Double IPA, guys. Nice juice bomb. Loved it. Thanks, Brandon. I do appreciate it, sir. If you've had this, guys, let me know what you think. The Houston Hazier from Spindle Type. Pick it up. You won't be disappointed till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.